just comes off like that, no worries. All right, well, we can start by taking the uh, brake drums off. It's only got one spring, so that makes it even easier. But it's the same if you had two on there. It just comes off like that, no worries. I'm gonna separate the spring out, because I'm gonna reuse that. You have a little ridge in there, which I suppose is so it can hold a bit more grease. So I'm gonna pull them apart and grease them up. And I can't promise this is the way you're meant to do it, this is just the way I do it. And get some WD and wipe off all that caked on old grease. I'm also gonna to have to pull this out so I can take this pin out and grease it. Let's take these right out. And there's also this, which is like your wear marker, which only goes on one way, and this is actually on backwards, so it should be up here like this, marking that wear point. Anyway, take that all off, pull this pin through, remember there's a washer there. You can see how disgusting and greasy this is. It's just all caked with brake dust and grease. So I'm going to clean it all up. Now I've put grease all over this. Put it back in. Wipe the excess off. Wipe the bits that have gone everywhere off. I'll put a tiny bit on these faces. Just a tiny bit. Off. Right so you put the two springs on the thing, and then you get that pivot point on, and then you gotta go up there, yeah. that, push it on, and that's it. Just gotta be very careful you don't get rubbish all over the brake shoes, which I may have done. I'm going to wipe them down with some brake cleaner. Now I'm put an alarm back on. Get that little marking plate. And find this, which as you can see, indicates that it's Oh yeah, so if it goes past there, it's engaging right there. And then there's a little mark on this somewhere. Maybe there's not. 